I have a question for you. Do you ever feel frustrated with yourself over the things you seem to do without even thinking? Like maybe you find yourself neck deep in a snack bag whenever you feel upset, even if you normally are committed to your health goals, or maybe you drink a glass of wine or two at the end of every workday, but you kind of wish you didn't. I have some tips for you that I think will help. The things you do without even thinking are often learned behaviors. This means you can also unlearn them. But how do you go about this? Well, it has to do with how and why we form habits in the first place. Habits are simply actions repeated over and over in response to a trigger. After a while, they become automatic. The trigger can be emotion, a time of day, or something that happens around you. Remember the story of Pavlov's dogs who salivated every time they heard the footsteps of a person who, who fed them? Because even before they saw the food, they knew that they were about to get fed. Now, I'm not saying we're exactly like Pavlov's dogs, <clears throat> but it's a cool story to illustrate how it works. Basically, when you repeat an action over and over, your brain creates a link between the trigger and the action, and then it strengthens it over time. Technically, what the brain is doing is creating a pathway inside itself that automates, automates what you do next. And then it rewards itself with a shot of feel-good hormones. So in our snack food example, what's the trigger? It's feeling upset. Maybe at some point in the past, you tried to distract yourself from feeling sad or lonely by eating sweet or salty foods. Well, eventually your brain linked the trigger to the action. Your brain loves habits because it gets a hit of feel-good juice, dopamine, every time it uses the pathways it creates. So while you're heading to the snack cupboard or the wine fridge, your brain is basically running on autopilot. Meanwhile, you're busy thinking about the future, your to-do list, or recapping the day ahead. What is your brain not doing? Being present in the moment. And that's the key to short-circuiting the loop. When you notice yourself on autopilot and engaging in a habit you want to quit, it's time to be present. Ask yourself, why am I reaching for the chips or the wine or whatever it is? This interruption forces your brain to be mindful, present, and engaged. So next time you're reaching for the junk food or the wine bottle and you really don't want to, stop and ask yourself why. Then replace the action with something you do want to become a habit. Go for a walk, do a breathing exercise, make a healthy choice. What habits are you trying to break? What habits are you trying to create for yourself? Tell me about it in the comments below if you're watching this on social media or shoot me an email, jeff at maxstrengthfitness. I'd love to hear what habits you're trying to break and what healthy ones you're trying to establish. And speaking of healthy habits, if you're not already a client of ours and have established that healthy fitness routine, we guarantee results in only minutes a week. You can always request a free initial consultation and demo workout at Max Strength Fitness. I'll take you through our tried and proven system and show you what we've done for thousands of people time and time again and develop that fitness habit once and for all for you. Until then, we'll talk soon.